Hi, welcome back to my channel. Our channel now hit 500 subscribers. A small milestone to achieve, yet I would like to thank all of you guys for supporting my channel. I hope you stay and continue on supporting my channel until we achieve another milestone. Please complete watching our videos up to its end. I always add some activities and seat works at the end part of my videos to help you master the lesson that we are discussing. I also add at the end part of my video all the shout outs as my appreciation for your comments in my videos. I will mention and congratulate those who were able to finish the video and get a passing score in our seat work. Just comment the score that you'll get in the comment box down below. If you also want me to shout out your name in my next video, just leave a comment down below. Well, in our previous lesson, we had an introduction about our lesson regarding simple aspects of verbs. If you fail to watch our video about it, I put its link in the description box down below. Our special guest for today is Naofumi Iwatani from the anime Rising of the Shield Hero. He will help us to better understand our lesson for today. Before we proceed to that, please like this video as your support to my channel. You can also share this video to your friends, share the happiness, and most importantly, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet to my channel and hit the notification bell for you to be always updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. For starters, let's have a spelling. I want you now to get a pen and paper. I'll give you 20 seconds to prepare yourself. One, spell the word coach. Coach is an instructor or trainer. If you want to win a contest, then you should always listen to your coach. Two, spell neglect. Neglect means the state or fact of being uncared for. An important reminder to parents. If you don't want your family to be like this, don't neglect your duties to your children. Three, spell flatter. Flatter means make someone feel honored and pleased. Thank you, I was very flattered of what you've said to me. Aww. Four, spell remedy. Remedy is a medicine or treatment for a disease or injury. Example, Neosep is a good remedy against cold. And then finally, number five, spell the word saint. Saint is a person acknowledged as holy or virtuous and typically regarded as being in heaven after death. Example, Pope Saint John Paul II was born on May 18, 1920 at Wadowice, Poland and died on April 2, 2005. Now, let's check your work. Here's the answer key for our spelling. Done checking, then let's move on. A simple past tense indicates that the action happened in the past. We change a verb to its simple past tense by simply adding ed in the end of the verb. For example, want plus ed equals want. Now Fumi wants a party member in his journey so he took Raphthalia with him. Another example, cast plus ed equals cast. Now Fumi Iwatani cast out two balloon monsters to defeat Motayasu Kitamaru in their duel. For verbs ending in e, we just add d in the end. For example, change plus d equals changed. Now Fumi changed his shield into its cursed shield form to defeat strong monsters. For verbs ending in Y, first Y changes into I and then we add ED in the end. For example, try. Y changes into I, then we add ED equals tried. Now Fumi and Raftalia tried to kill the monsters by themselves to help the soldiers.
But if a word ends with a vowel, A, E, I, O, U, plus Y, do not change Y to I, we just simply add ED in the end. For example, stay plus ED equals stayed. Raftalia stayed to comfort Naofumi. <laughs> now, if the verb ends in consonant plus vowel plus consonant or simply remembered as CVC, we double the last consonant letter then add ED in the end of the verb. For example, in the word stop, T is a consonant, O is a vowel, P is a consonant, so we double the last letter which is letter P and then we add ED, so it turns to stopped. Now Fumi stopped the monster's attack with his shield. Finally, if the last letter of the verb is X, we don't double the consonant letter X. For example, in the word fix, since it ends with letter X, we don't double the letter X. We just add ED into it and then it turns out into fixed. Now Fumi fixed the town's problem with the tree monster with his poison potion. Always take note of the following rules in changing a regular verb into its past tense. 1. We change regular verbs into its past tense by simply adding ED in the end of the verb. 2. For verbs ending in E, we just add D in the end. 3. For verbs ending in Y, first change Y to I, then add ED. For verbs ending in CVC, first double the last letter before adding ED. And then finally, number 5, for verbs ending in X, don't double the last letter, just add ED. Now, let's have an activity. I'm going to read the sentence, then you're going to choose the letter with the correct past form of the word inside the parenthesis. 1. A young man aged 13, the Simpson Bank in Motown yesterday night. Which of the following is the correct past form of the word drop? If your answer is B, then you are correct. 2. He, the money in his sister's school bag. Which of the following is the correct past form of the word carry? If your answer is D, then you are correct. 3. We here in 1991. Which of the following is the correct past form of the word move? If your answer is A, then you are correct. 4. She finally her mistakes. Which of the following is the correct past form of the word admit? If your answer is D, then you are correct. And then last, number 5, our flight to Japan was... Which of the following is the correct past form of the word delay? If your answer is C, then you are correct. Now, let's see if you really learned in our today's lesson. Let's have a seat work. I believe you already have a pen and paper with you, so let's start. So here, you're going to fill in the simple past form of the verb in the parentheses to complete the sentence. I will only give you one minute to complete the task. If the time is not enough for you, then you may pause this video.
time's up. Let's check your work. Here's the answer key for our today's seat work. All set! I hope you've learned a lot from our today's lesson. I hope that now you know how to change a regular verb to its simple past form. Please comment down below the score that you get in our seat work. If you pass, I'll post a shoutout of you in my next video. Speaking of shoutout as my means of showing my gratitude and appreciation to all of your comments in my videos, I would like to post a shoutout to the following people. Thank you for all of your encouraging and positive comments. Your comments are important to me. By the way, the sole purpose of me making video lessons like this is to help children be able to study at home. So in order for this video to reach as many children at home as possible, please share this video to your friends. And again, to help me be encouraged in making videos like this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell as well so that you will always be updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. Thank you and see you in our next video. Bye-bye!